the line. Rister patted away. And it'll be poked on to the corner. Turning out of the corner now. Mullally shot from the point. Easy save by Chase Perry. And he'll hold on there. Fresh uh, pads, uh, trapper, and blocker for the junior netminder from Andover, Minnesota, Chase Perry. This fourth line out here for the engineers as they're about to come off is one big one. You got Billy Jerry at 6'4". He's a freshman. And then Jaron Burke at 6'3", 215 pounds. Face off here to the right of Perry. They tie things up on the dot. It'll be worked away. Off to Mears Moore. Junior from Duluth, Minnesota. High off the glass and all the way down. This should be icing. No, they say it was deflected. They wave it off. First one to it. Calder Brooks for St. Mary's. And now they get it ahead. Here's Noah Zilbert into the RPI zone. Big hit thrown there by Riley. Uh, but a giveaway. Now a cross check coming up here. It's going to go on Jared Wilson, the most penalized man for the engineers last year. And this one won't count in the record books, uh, but he'll go to the box here and the engineers will go on the kill. So engineers go to the penalty kill after a clean check there by Will Riley, a very clean hip check. And then Jared Wilson got a little sloppy on the, behind the net. So the engineers actually had a pretty good penalty kill last year. Uh, they went for quite a while without giving up a single goal. Cross-checking the call on Wilson. Will Send uh, St. Mary's on the power play. And they're back in their own end now. Mark Trickert. The shots are 2-2 two to two early on in this one. Engineers on the kill last year, 78.3%. A lot of opportunities, not really what you want. Uh, Shorthanded chances, but they had a good number of them. Setting things up, here's Trickert for St. Mary's. Cross ice feed, couldn't quite settle it down. That was uh, Anthony Rapaci, the older brother to Sabrina Rapaci, who was on the RPI women's team. As it's a shot coming, it's blocked by a skate. Engineers can't get it out. It'll be tracked down by Johnson. Second effort gets the job done. Good play there by John Richards, the freshman from Callaway, Minnesota. RPI playing with an extra forward in this one as they can. It's an exhibition game, you're allowed to. And uh, Richards listed as the extra forward here for RPI. Loose puck top of the zone. Engineers can't get it out. It'll be worked down low on the poke by Cogler. Wrapped around to the point. A little hesitation uh, by Austin Hardy to keep it alive. Now down low. Back up top. Hardy. Slap shot coming. That one hammered wide. Comes down off the glass to the half boards. Centering pass right on in front. What a save by Perry. My goodness, he got across. And that should have been one nothing, but Perry made the stop. Perry's vision great on that last play. Saw the pass from way on the other side of the ice. Perry looked definitely looked sharp to begin the season, and the other as the other forwards and defensemen trying to work out the kinks in their game on the penalty kill. But Perry just all over the front of the crease there. Face off here. Harris trying to clear it out. And does the job. Pass Morello all the way down. 24 to go on the St. Mary's power play. Uh, it'll be gathered here by the Huskies. And they'll start things out from behind their own goal. Into the zone. It's a Cogler centering pass intercepted and cleared by the engineers all the way down. Out of the box comes Wilson. Thanks to the Perry save, this one is still scoreless. As it'll be moved behind the goal. Here is uh, Hayhurst. Dick Handling lost the puck, and the offside whistle goes. Yeah, that was Hayhurst and Will Riley working on that last play. Good thinking, just couldn't execute it. Engineers look a little rusty here to start start off the season. That's what these ex exhibition games are for, however. Face-off coming up here, just outside the RPI zone. St. Mary's has it. And they'll ring it in. Around the far side, that was uh, DePerna. Richards can't get it out. Deflected on goal, and Perry has to be good again. Other than that first, uh, really the opening rush off the opening face-off, it's been all uh, Huskies in this one as far as the chances have gone. And uh, Chase Perry has uh, stood tall here over the first uh, about four minutes of this game. 
five minutes, I should say. Engineers got to work on their breakout passes. Burgess to take the draw here against Koffler. Or Kogler, and they win it. Up ahead comes Emil Orval, younger brother to Jasper, and the shot deflects wide. Now Liljegren, fellow Swede, now back to the point. Prapavestas takes a look around, looking for the backdoor. Burgess steers it on goal. Second effort. No, it's turned away. But you see the hands there of Todd Burgess, able to just redirect that one on goal. Now back come the Huskies. Rister blocked away into the netting. We get a stoppage, end to end action here in this exhibition game at the Houston Fieldhouse. Uh, Joe, I thought it was going to be. Uh, Looking like back to the week, I thought it was going to be 90 degrees all uh, for, for the rest of eternity here, but no, it's uh, cooled down quite a bit for hockey season, it looks like. Yeah, it's, the hockey season came around and the weather responded, but on that last play, you can really just see the talent that Todd Burgess has. Uh, engineer fans have been waiting a while to see Burgess as he sat out all last year uh, due to injury, as it'll be cleared all the way down. It'll be played there by Brassard, Eric Brassard, the work at far side. He started 14 games uh, for this Huskies team last year in the U Sports is a Canadian College Hockey League. Brister blocked away. Digging for it there was Billy Jerry a freshman from uh, River Falls Wisconsin. Lanky freshman at 6-4. This is it. Uh, 6-4-190. Into the zone now. A clean look and a good shoulder save by Perry. Squeezed that right arm to his chest protector and held on again. Not allowing a rebound. Perry has been sharp early on in this game. And Coach Smith told me before uh, this one that you're yeah, expecting to have Perry play the first half and Lyndon Marshall the second half of this game. Yeah, Perry has looked sharp, and that's a good sign for the engineers because he was the best goaltender on the team last year, and he came back just as sharp. Face off here, jumping on it is Reisinger. The sophomore from Walden, Austria will dump it in. Engineers are offside, and they're gonna, well, they're gonna let him play here. A lot of times when Buck gets that deep with all three forwards pressing, uh, they'll blow it dead, but no, no one touched it, so we will continue to play. Hayher shoots it off the wall to himself into the zone three on two, or two on two rather. Drop pass here, Riley Arister looking for the redirector in front was Reisinger. Uh, that didn't work out as he uh, couldn't get a piece of it. Picked up here by Hardy. Austin Hardy up the wall. Couldn't corral, and now back the other way comes Samick. Sophomore is TJ Samick from St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. Former Brookings Blizzard. Quickly turned back the other way. Poke check on the far side to separate, uh, look like Mullally from the puck, and now it'll be kept in by the Huskies. Glove down by Perry. He'll leave it at the side of the cage for Samick. 12.50 to go, first period, no score. Jake Morello takes a hit along the boards, pops right back to Samick. He'll lob it in the air this time, hits Morello, and finally out to center will be gathered there by DePerna. Shot back in by St. Mary. Samick once more, he'll try the far side wall. Patrick Paulino waiting for it, touch pass between his own legs for Whiffen. Whiffen out to center, chopped back into the RPI zone. Gathered in by Prapavesis. He'll go across here near side for Harris just off the bench. Up the wall further for Morello. Trying to wait was Whiffen. Did a good job walking in. Uh, fanning on the shot there was Polino. But jumping on it, Jake Morello from Slingerlands, New York. Hands it off at the blue line for Prapavesis. The shot was blocked. It'll be gathered in here now by Polino. Down low, Brady Whiffen. Trying to use that 6-3 uh, frame to shield the puck and does. Working it down low on the cycle. Poked loose to the corner. First one to it, Morello takes a look around. Morello feeding in front. Harris waiting. One more pass. He was trying to find Whiffen, but he was tied up well by Alex Cord at the back post, and he wasn't able to get his stick on the ice. 11.45 now. In a fast-moving first period. Now the engineers have kind of uh, fought back after some early pressure from St. Mary. Now a touch pass near giveaway and a chance for a break. Walking right in. A shot of a blocker save. As a partial breakaway there for Rapanchi. Uh, was denied, although Prapavesis did uh, cut off a bit of his angle there. Getting back into the play. Now Burgess uh, hauls a man down, but it's not enough for a penalty. Now dangling right in. What a goal! Calder Brooks with some fancy stick handling. Worked his way in and beat Perry with a nice dangle. It's 1-0 St. Mary's. That was absolutely incredible there. No chance really for Perry. 
Great move by Calder Brooks to give St. Mary's a one nothing lead. He went around Prep of Vessis and Jared Wilson there. Quick skating and quick hands for the Husky. Draw things up here. Huskies out of their own end, tipped to the RPI line. Falling down there was Jerry. And now into the zone they come. Zilbert shot high off the glass. It'll be played along. Uh, into the uh, corner. Now Moore. Bobbing to center ice. Poked on for Jerry. Billy Jerry in. Shooting, and that one just missed. Caroms out to the point for Moore. Moore down low for Jaron Burke. Another freshman for this RPI team from Ottawa. Some size from this freshman class for RPI. Nice handoff there. Tyranny's in. Evan Tyranny's on his backhand and is poked away by Hardy as Tyranny's is trying to stick it home. Or at least to flip it out in front. Gathered in and cleared by Zilbert all the way down. Not enough on it for icing as TJ Samick will go back and pick it up for the engineers. Nearing the halfway point of the first period, 1-0 St. Mary's, and it's shot all the way down. Did Reisinger touch it? Yes, he did. Takes a stick up high uh, from Cord, and they continue to battle behind the goal. Dug out of there by the Huskies. They quickly move it to center. Good transition here, and they're offside, just as I say that. Yeah, the engineers seem to be having a little bit of trouble with communication among their players. Passes, passes that normally connect are not. And I think that's kind of resulting in why the engineers look a little bit lost in this first period. But they're starting to fight back now. But I think it's the longer the game goes on, the more passes that are going to connect and the quicker the engineers are going to move up the ice. So just brushing off of the rust. Face off coming up in the neutral zone. Kicked at by Reisinger. Plays it back to... Uh, Matt Harris and now Prapaves is quickly on from Tyranese to Reisinger and in deep. Although he was eliminated on the play. Near giveaway and a chance almost for Hayhurst. Trying to jump on a loose puck. who was knocked away. Johnson tapped on further to center. The Huskies dump it in. That was Michael Curtis. Chase Perry to play. Harris. Nearly lost it, but he jumps back on it. Cross ice feed. Reisinger with some space, although he's one on three. He'll take a wrist shot that deflects into the netting, and at the very least, an offensive zone faceoff coming here for RPI. Another thing that you have to take into account is that the engineers have a new head coach, Dave Smith, from Canisius College, and he's probably implemented a few new uh, systems of his own, maybe a different forechecking system that what, what, than what the engineers are used to, and it's a lot different from practice. Uh, games are much different, much quicker. Face off here, chipped out to center. Nearly played with a high stick. In fact, it was, but the engineers are the next to touch, the, so no whistle went. Here's Mears Moore. Dealt with some injuries last year, looking to have a healthy junior season. Polino a shot, and a redirection goes wide. Whiffen was looking for the rebound, and it didn't quite follow him. Now Polino trying to drag it out in front. Moved out to center ice now by Alexander Peters for St. Mary's. Tapped on back to Peters, backhanded in front. Perry will cover. That's good back check from Morello, who followed his man in. All the way in from the blue line, Adam Bateman, the defenseman. Uh, but Morello stuck right with him in case uh, Perry had trouble with it, although he did not. Yeah, that top line has a good mix of skill, size, speed, and scrappiness. Jake Morello definitely represents the, the tougher side of that line. Face off, pushed off the wall, and now here's Emil Orval. Chipping it on for Liljegren. Liljegren in, backhand pass out in front. Orval was up and penalty coming up as uh, Orval's equipment is strewn all about the ice. It was a good little give and go there between the two Swedes, Liljegren and Orval, and it turns into a power play opportunity for RPI. Engineers first power play of the night here, and the Swedish connection really kicking in so far. Engineers on the man advantage last year was very solid, 21.3%, 36 goals and 169 opportunities. They lose Riley Bourbonnet, their top power play man. Uh, they'll see if they're able to fill his shoes and uh, continue to execute on the man advantage. Of course, as uh, Joe mentioned, new head coach, so probably some new looks here uh, from the RPI power play. Uh, but obviously the talent uh, 
still around as Moore will play here for RPI. Engineers down a goal as they head to their first power play of the game. Burgess hands it off Liljegren. Liljegren trying to drive it in right in front. What a stop by Broussard as he denies Burgess. Point blank. Both goaltenders making big time saves here in this first period. That time, uh, uh, both of them on the power play, mind you. All right, penalty kill. Here's more. One timer Wilson. Save made. Rebound loose in front. And it'll be swept away, but not out of danger. Here's Orval. Up top for Moore, or Burgess rather. Now Moore. Here's Moore waiting. Off for Burgess. Burgess walking in. Rister deflected over the top. Wilson once more. On for Moore. Minute to go in the power play. Slap shot coming off the crossbar. Orval once more. Up for Moore. Shot in the pad. Save made. Broussard back to Burgess. Moore walking in. Wilson a one-timer. That hit bodies in front. This power play. My goodness. And now Wilson gets upended. He continues to do battle with Johnson in the corner. Meanwhile, the puck's headed back the other way shorthanded. To Perna, and now Orval again, and we've just gotten a glimpse of this power play, but it has uh, been something to watch. Uh, 17 seconds left on it. They may not score, but uh, that was pretty. Here's Prapovestis in now. Drop pass uh, back to him. Trying to work it back down for a yes for Orval. Five to go on the power play. Prapovestis across. Riley waiting, holding. He'll throw it into the skates of Tierney's. Back to Riley. Rister down low. Hey, here's a jam try. Saved by Broussard. Picked up by Tierney's. Back up top. Rister over the top that uh, Riley did not catch cleanly. It'll be flipped off the glass and out to center. Power play over. Uh, but I'd watch that again. That was a good time. Lobbed out to center ice. Riley trying to glove it down. But nonchalant is nearly stolen away by Curtis. And Prapovasis now uh, ties his man up. Curtis in the corner. Digging it out of there is Mullally. Now jumped on by uh, Jesper Orval. On for J.K. Hurst. On for Prapovesis. He'll pull it back out to the point and look to cycle down low. Two engineers there. One of them Orval. Centering pass right on in front. Comes off a Hayher stick. A shot right on from Samick. And then it'll be pushed out to center by the Huskies. And now a chance for a three on two. Shot on goal from a tight angle. Saved by Perry. Pops right back to his man. That's Trickett. Trying to walk around Prapovesis. That's not going to happen. It'll be worked to the wall. Billy Jerry now takes a look up ice. Jerry to center off the stick of Samick. Gathered in again by St. Mary's. Bateman near side. Right up the wall by Samick. And all the way down it goes. This will be icing on RPI. 5.17 on the clock, Joe. And uh, Engineers power play. Obviously didn't score. Engineers are another goal, but it, 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 it looked good. And uh, what, I, what I liked about it, Joe, is they moved the puck quickly, and they got shots, and they got the, the big uh, slap shot of uh, Jared Wilson involved, and he hit the crossbar. Yeah, everyone out there was skating hard the whole time, and that was one of the problems. They would get lackadaisical last year on the power play sometimes, and this year it looks like they got a high energy group. Crap of Essis. Of course, a small sample size, and they didn't score, so... Uh, you can say as much as you want about a power play. Uh, results are the number one thing in the end, of course, uh, not in a game like this. But I digress. Five minutes to go in the first period. One uh, thing is the St. Mary's lead. As they dig behind the cage. Three Huskies, two engineers. Brady Whiffen trying to work it out in front. He nearly did. Good strength by Whiffen as he continues to battle for the puck in the corner. Still Whiffen on it. The junior from St. Mary's, Ontario. Of course, not the St. Saint, Saint Mary's as the University in Nova Scotia. But uh, it'll be shut off the back wall by Rapache. Huskies having a little bit of trouble getting out of their own end. They finally get it to center. Picked up there by T.J. Samick. Samick ahead for Liljegren. Liljegren toe drag. Shot was blocked by escape. Chipped down low. And now fed to center ice. Johnson waiting for it there. Has Riley to beat. Now has a man in front as the injuries are a little bit slowing it back there, but uh, luckily for RPI, Riley was able to cut off any idea of a pass. Now Samick to center. On further, poked free, picked up by Emil Orval. Pulls it back and takes a wrister. And you can see the quick hands of Orval there 
as he uh, just so neatly picked the puck away and got off a really quick shot with the defender right in his face. Yeah, the engineers starting to get their cycle game going more and more with that top line of Riffin, Morello, and Polino, and resulting in a lot, a lot of offensive zone and giving their defensemen a little break. Face-off coming up here. One by St. Mary. Scooped up off the wall and picked up again by Shipley, wearing the C for St. Mary's. And now moved into the zone. Moore. And now here comes Wilson. Far side off the skate, or was it off the skate of Orval? No. Icing is the call. And we get a stoppage here. 320 on the clock, first period. One nothing. The lead. Calder Brooks with a highlight reel goal uh, from Alexander Peters. That's the only scoring in this game was an even strength goal at 844. Face off, work down low. Looking to cycle, and now a penalty coming up here. Wilson got tangled up in the stick of one of the St. Mary's skaters, and it's going to be a penalty 200 feet from his own goal. And uh, I kind of agree with him. He's got his palms raised there. Uh, looks like that's uh, number hooking. 72, Aaron uh, Bashira. Barisha, rather. Yeah, it's going to be a hook, but I thought it was more of a, you know, uh, inadvertent play than anything else. I think they were just yeah. uh, battling there. Anyway, RPI will take its second power play, and I, I say that after I really wanted to see another RPI power play, so. It brings out the Mixed second signals, unit. right, yeah, exactly. Bringing out the second unit now with yep. Tyrannese. Tyrannese, Hayhurst out there with Orval, being, that being Esper, Prabavesis, and Riley. But we'll see if they have as much success as the first unit did, at least uh, maintaining puck possession and, and really generating chances. RPI could have scored on two or three occasions in their opening power play, weren't able to. Yes, where Orval can't track it down. Prapaves is pinching in to keep it alive and does for Tyrannese. Tyrannese 21 assists last year led the team. Here's Prapaves now. Back up top for Riley. Riley to the far side, walking in. Hangers down low. That was Tyrannese who fed it all the way in and all the way through. Prapaves now in the corner. And now to the far side for Hayhurst. Hayhurst into the skates of Tyrannies. Nice move to keep the puck alive. And now Prabhavas is looking to center. Right out in front. And Orval put it wide. Hayhurst back to the point for Riley. Now Prabhavas once more. Back to Riley. Fakes a shot over to Hayhurst. Hayhurst a wrister save. Rebound jammed at way. Orval. And the glove save is made by Eric Brassard. And uh, in the battle of goaltenders in this first period, both have been uh, very solid. Uh, Broussard just a little, has been just a little bit better than Perry, obviously, uh, not allowing a goal. Yeah, and the engineers' power play, I'm starting to notice they're doing a lot of play behind the net. A lot, they're putting a man behind the net that allows them to get a couple space, couple extra open spaces. A couple of players bump shoulders in the corner. It'll be worked out to Burgess. Back to the point, Moore. Far side, Wilson looking for the redirect in front from Emil Orval, didn't get it. And that allows uh, Shipley to clear it down. Minute 45 to play. In the first, one nothing St. Mary's. 35 seconds to go on this RPI power play. They're second of the game. Victor Lilgeren into the zone. Centering pass, looking for uh, Burgess. That didn't work out. And now a chance to clear. They just work it ahead on the pass. Here's Koffler, stolen away. Engineers back on it. Wilson once more. He'll chip it in. Slapped around behind all the way to Orval. 12 seconds to go on the power play. Minute 15 in the period. Lilgerin trying to do a little give and go there with Orval. That doesn't work. It'll be whacked out to center by Conkler. And now Wilson. Penalty is over. RPI 0 for 2 on the man advantage. It'll be picked up here by Billy Jerry. Jerry. As Jaron Burke with him, stops at the half boards. Back to the point, one-timer coming along the ice. It went wide. Now trying to break out quickly. If he can find him, they got a break here. Although good back check uh, by Riley to break things up and really turned into a non-chance. I thought that uh, Cogger was going to be able to break their one-on-one. -on -one, potential breakaway, but engineers caught up to him quickly. Bouncing puck picked up by Samick. 33 seconds to go in the period. 
Now Burke lays it on back for Riley. Good connection to Jerry. Just waits and shoots it in. Both teams, at least the engineers, want to change. Reisinger over there for RPI. Gathered in by Curtis. Cross ice feed. A little too hot to handle for Beaton, although he finds it there. Flying into the zone there was Curtis. That one pops out of play. We'll have a faceoff coming. Just 6.5 seconds left in the first period. Yeah, and even though the engineers are down here in the first period, it looks like they're starting to get their feet under them. And like I said earlier, practice speed is a lot different than game speed. So it's good that the engineers had this exhibition game before the season starts up next week. Face off to the right of Chase Perry, who has been good in this first period. He has, uh, has made eight saves, one spectacular one. But you mentioned before, Broussard has been just a little bit better. 14 stops for Eric Broussard as a backhander. Hits bodies in front, looking to center as the horn sounds. No shot there. That will do it for the first period. Shots were 14-9 engineers. Pretty indicative of how this one went. It was an uh, early chance for RPI, then a lot from, uh, from St. Mary's. But once the engineers settled down, they were the better team in the period. We're not able to beat Broussard. And uh, they'll look to try and improve on what they did in the first in period uh, number two. But nothing really to, uh, be just, certainly nothing to be disappointed about. Some bright spots there from some of the freshmen. RPI moving the puck on the power play very well. And uh, that's just 20 minutes of hockey. And uh, no matter how it turns out, it won't count, Joe. Yeah, it's a very intriguing season ahead of the engineers here with, uh, of course, a new coach and new players, new freshmen coming in. Well, that'll do it for us here. We will step aside here on RPI TV. You're watching RPI Hockey with a score one nothing, St. Mary's after one.
Underway here in uh, period number two, and Will Riley picks off a pass, fires it across. Victor! <laughs> Start to the period just like they had last period. And uh, Will Riley once again asserting his dominance using his speed to pick off the pass and then good vision to see Wilshergren racing down the left side, the far side of the ice. So Victor Wilshergren, who scored 10 goals last year. Uh, scoring here in this exhibition game obviously won't count towards a season total. Uh, but uh, he gets RPI on the board in a 1-1 game. Now Wilson nearly scored in the first period. Shot one off the crossbar. He'll throw it on goal on the backhand. One-handed. Uh, steered away. And now moved up ice. Picked away by Mears Moore. On for Paulino. Trying to touch it to himself. Morello, nice move into the zone. Pulls it back towards the wall. Finding Paulino on the back end. Shot coming. Save by Brassard. He does not allow a rebound. Engineers look much better this period. Passes connecting through the neutral zone. That's where they needed their passes to connect so that they could get into the offensive zone and get some shots on net. Get some offensive pressure. Face off. Uh, coming up. In the RPI zone. And now moved out to, towards center and all the way down. Curtis. Perry will fling it around for Hayhurst. And now Tyrannies. Throwed off the skate of Reisinger. Swatted at by Prapavesis. And now back into their own end. Off the wall, nearly picked away. It was intercepted. Here comes Hayhurst. Walking in Hayhurst, looking for the top right corner. Didn't get it. Then the defenseman, that was Cord, ran into his old netminder, Broussard. Luckily for him, nothing came of it. Now a centering pass comes all the way through. Matt Harris, wrister on goal. Rebound pops to the middle of the ice, and Shipley will uh, move it out towards center. Gathered in behind the goal by Harris. Matt Harris off the boards. Picked up there by Orval. Across for Samick. And now indirect off the boards from Harris. And Harris waiting at center. Threw it through everybody. They wave off the icing. Could have been touched by a number of players. Broussard will play. Shot around, picked up by Burgess. He'll lob it over the net. Emil Orval for RPI. Liljiger in the goal scorer. He was wrapped up. Burgess throws a hit. Puck comes free. It'll be carried out to center ice by the Huskies. Dumped in uh, by Stavert. Shot around behind the net. Orval helping it on towards the point where it's uh, pulled out to center. Carried there by Koffler. Shot on goal, saved by Perry. We expect to see Lyndon Marshall later on in this period. Here's Will Riley. Stick handling right through his man, all the way behind the goal. One on five in the zone as the engineers were changing behind him. It'll be worked back out towards center ice, dumped in there by Koffler. Moore using the net as a bit of a screen. Gets it ahead to Burke, who backhands it cross ice, intercept it, and move back the other way. Shot in by Bateman. Now a centering pass right on in front, and they score. Jake Koppler on the back door. It's 2-1 St. Mary's. Yeah, the engineers unable to clear the crease. Too many four-checkers there for the Huskies. And uh, going right across the blue, right across the crease over to Coughlin. Koffler, excuse me. 
for the goal. So the engineers get one to start the period really quickly and almost just as quick the Huskies respond. So face-off coming here at center ice, 16.34 to go. RPI uh, did tie it up, but as I mentioned, didn't last uh, all that long, just about uh, three and a half minutes. Played behind the goal now by DePerna. Out to center, race for it. Can be Polino the first one there. Wilson up ahead for Patrick Polino. Four goals and seven assists as a freshman. A sophomore now out of uh, Buffalo, New York. Now a, a giveaway in the top of the zone. Picked away by Polino. Work it down low for Morello. A couple of little guys in Morello and Polino paired up here with Whiffin on this uh, technically top line here for RPI, although it looked like we have some balanced uh, groupings really from Coach Smith here in this exhibition game. Centering pass all the way through everybody right to Harris. Harris into the slot, popped off a skate, picked up by Wilson. Wilson works to look, uh, work it down low. 2-1, St. Mary's leading here in the second. They scored one in the first, RPI tied it 11 seconds into the second. Uh, and then it's been, uh, then it was uh, the Huskies who scored again just moments ago. A little bit of a tie up in the RPI zone, two guys without the puck. We play on. Tap to center, where it's gathered in by Trickert. Back across, Trickert, long stretch pass just off the stick of the intended target. Uh, that was Rapati trying to break into the zone. Cross ice feed, Richards couldn't feed it all the way through. It's carried on the other way by Trickert. Knocked away by Richards again. It's back to the neutral zone. Uh, nearly picking the pocket, Tyrannese, and he'll fight to get on the puck here in the attacking zone. Has a man, Richards, crashing, looking to feed it back up top. Finds Samick. Samick Arister. That one hit bodies in front. Richards trying to find it. It'll be lobbed back out to center where Samick regathers and shoots it back in for RPI. Shots are 17 11 RPI as Tyrannese takes a hit in the corner. Went down a bit awkwardly to a knee. He's back up again. Puck lobbed to center ice. Samick's going to be the first one to it here for the engineers, backpedaling into his own zone. Near side, it'll be worked up ice. And now picked up by Liljegren. He has the RPI tally in this game. From Stockholm, Sweden, works it to the line. I think it was uh, inadvertently uh, stolen away by a teammate over there. That's Billy Jerry. And now it shows Orval. Now Arister high and wide, comes down in the corner. Liljegren takes a shove. Now battling for it there, a couple of Huskies. Picked up by Will Riley. Wrist shot coming, and he wired it just wide of the cage. St. Mary's back the other way. A little saucer pass to center. Connects there to Curtis. Curtis in. Wrist shot save made by Perry. It'll be carried behind the goal by Riley. Left back for Moore. Moore, he'll leave it behind the goal. Todd Burgess, sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. One of the top scorers uh, Really, in the history of the Fairbanks Ice Dogs, finally getting a chance to lace them up for the Engineers. On come the Huskies. Drop pass. Good back check there. Moore getting back into the play. Centering pass all the way through everybody out to center. Another thing to note about Todd Burgess, he played with number one overall draft pick in the 2016 draft, Austin Matthews. Well, that's a good teammate to have. Bouncing puck uh, at center. Picked up by Jerry. Gives it back off his skate all the way down. Jaron Burke looking to dig for it there. 6'3", 215 pounds, former Ottawa junior senator. Digging for in the corner. Puck pops free to the point. Wilson into the slot. Everyone thinking shot. He found Orval. Orval a shot and a glove save by Broussard. Uh, in amongst the trees, you have guys like Burke and Jerry in there. 6'3 and 6'4 lurking around the cage and somehow Broussard was able to not only see it, but glove it. Yeah, and smart play there by Jared Wilson. Everyone thought he was going to shoot because that's what Jared Wilson does. He's got that big, heavy slapper and kind of faked the shot. Yep. Went right right, went right went to the center for Orval, giving him a good chance at the net. And you know, they probably want 
uh, Billy Jerry a little bit uh, more in the sight lines of Broussard there. He was a little bit on the other side of the crease and allowed Broussard to see that shot pretty easily. It's nice to have big guys down low, but they, they want him in the right spot here. Anyway, back come the uh, Huskies here. Prapavas is trying to swat it out of the zone, get some help from Paulino and off of Morello. Connection to Peters. Peters in. Swat it away. And now scrapping for it. Stavert picked away there by Whiffen. Whiffen threw it into a crowd. Shipley intercepts. Shot was blocked, and it goes into the corner. Harris got tied up there as well. Now a backhander in front. Shipley trying to use his size to his advantage there. Backhanded down low. Swatted away by Perry once more with the uh, paddle of his stick. Shipley. And Whiffen comes free. Stavert, and now corralled by the engineers, Prapavasis, sporting these new uniforms. And that one hits the skate of Morello. Paying homage to the early 80s RPI hockey teams with the gray along the stitching there on the shoulders. I think they look pretty nice. There's a tie-up and a takedown. It looks like Will Riley's going to go off here. Delayed penalty coming up on RPI. Perry makes a save. Polino with a touch. And the Huskies will go on the power play for the second time. It's going to be a holding call on Will Riley. And it looked to be the right call from up here. 11 6 to go in the second. And uh, an 0 for 1 power play will head out there for St. Mary's now. Yeah, unfortunately, the engineer's going back on the penalty kill. But I just want to take a moment now to talk about freshman Matt Harris. He has looked really good so far for this engineer defense. The only freshman starting on the engineer defense, and he has fit in well, not just offensively bringing up the puck and taking shots, but defensively he's had a really active stick, poke checking everywhere, not letting forwards take their, take their positions. So a second chance on the man advantage here for St. Mary's. Trying to work it across Richards. Uh, second effort, got it done. He clears it all the way down. John Richards, the extra forward for the engineers tonight. Yeah, doing a good job here on the the uh, penalty kill. <laughs> As it'll be oh, out of play, Jared Wilson looking wondering what happened there. I guess it went into the netting. Right, went into the netting. Okay. Went into the netting. He's saying it was off of a. A St. Mary's player, right. Billy Jerry out here on the penalty kill. He's got some length at 6'4", probably a longer stick, and engineers look to fresh look into freshmen here on the penalty kill. Draw here. Backing up now are the Huskies. Penalty's still going on, and there's no penalty board up, so... I guess it's a minute, minute 12. Here we go. I couldn't see it. It's uh, usually up on the big board. I think it should be there. Anyway, into the middle of the ice. Wrist shot wide. Karam's off, and there it is. A minute to go on the power play now. Trying to move shorthanded is Hayhurst, and uh, nearly got away with it. But back into the zone comes St. Mary. Into the corner. Behind the goal, it's Peters. The defenseman all the way in deep. We'll work it back to the point. Beaton. And now we're patchy at the wall. Beaton now. Blue line. Hard pass off the boot of Peters. Nice job by him to gather it in. Below the goal line. The engineers will let him play there. Beaton gives it off and nearly left the zone. Good job to keep it in by Trickert. Pops free to the point. 15 seconds to go on the power play. A little bit of pressure now on by Hayhurst. Shot coming deflected high off the glass behind the RPI goal. Beaten across into the skates. Little backhand dangle move there. Really picked up by Hayhurst. Hayhurst trying to make a move. Penalty's over. Nine minutes to go in the period. And uh, a little bit of a... Issue with the change over there. Shot and a save by Perry. He'll cover it up, and we may see a new goaltender here. Marshall's ready to go. And once again, Matt Harris. 
Matt Harris on the penalty kill, having a very active stick and keeping keeping the Huskies tied up in the corner on the far side of the ice. Lyndon Marshall's going to take over here for Chase Perry, who played well. He gave up two goals on 14 shots. Uh, very sharp early on in this game when the engineers needed him. But we'll get our first look at Lyndon Marshall, number one for RPI. Marshall, a uh, freshman from Victoria, British Columbia, played for the Trail Smoke Eaters. Now Burgess nearly got free in front of the net, popped free to the corner. Now Orval tried a quick one-touch pass, and he fanned on it. That'll allow the Huskies to move back the other way. Lyndon Marshall with his first touch of the puck, and he gets his first look at the uh, Zamboni door opening. Puck popped off uh, not quite the way it did on Alan York back in the day, but uh, he had to deal with the... A funny hop off the wall, and then it immediately shoots the puck into the crowd. I hope everyone's okay over there. <laughs> yeah, Lyndon Marshall welcoming, him, he's welcoming <laughs> himself to the Houston Fieldhouse crowd. Yeah. Well, you got a piece of everything there. He got to shoot the puck into the crowd, so he either made a friend or an enemy there uh, <laughs> with uh, maybe a free puck, and then he had to deal with that uh, Zamboni door, which we've known many goaltenders to not like some of the bounces you get off the opening over there. Luckily for him, it was... Uh, not an egregious bounce, and he was able to deal with it pretty easily. They're opening up the penalty box here. Yeah, I think it's just a referee to go inside. Well, I may be wrong. They're discussing something. Possibly delay of game. Matt Wild and Robert Sorelli are the referees. Matt Brady, Paul Trainer are the linesmen. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what uh, they're discussing here. I think they can give a delay of game penalty. This is the rule. In, in, in the pros, it's an automatic penalty for shooting the puck directly out of play. In college hockey, it's rarely ever, I've rarely ever, I don't think I've ever seen it given, although it, it can be. So I judgment guess that's call? the discussion. What? Is it a judgment call? It's a guy. It's the discretion of the official. He's talking to the RPI I, captain, Jared Wilson, now. I think he's saying, I think he's going to explain it to the, the coaches for both teams here. And Wilson now speaking with his head coach, Dave Smith. And uh, that's just the stuff you can't see. What you can see is everyone lined up for a face-off. I think we're going to play five on five here. Well, not six on five. Someone has to get off. Calder Brooks will. Huskies playing without their top scorer from a year ago, Hunter uh, Garland. One of the top scorers in the entire league that the uh, Huskies play in. Anyway, back to action here. Richards into the zone and uh, yeah, taking a step across the line a little early was Tyranny's and a little drawn offside whistle. 8-13 on the clock. Shots are now 18 to 15 RPI, uh, but they trail two to one. And, uh, John Richards out here with the engineer's second line, giving Jake Hayhurst a break after he worked really hard on that penalty kill, almost having a couple shorthanded opportunities. Face off coming. Uh, nearly stolen away by Richards. Now it is picked off and now moving in. Three on two. Reisinger a save. And now picked up by Tyrannese. He gets upended behind the goal. Samick, he'll step into one. And that one fired wide and will leave the zone. Will Riley back to pick it up for RPI on a Toronto, Ontario. I mentioned he was drafted by the Penguins in the 2017 NHL draft. Former Nanaimo Clipper. Now Richards' pass is intercepted and taken back the other way. Centering pass flipped over the top of the net. On the try by Rapaci. Shot around. Towards the point. Save made by the stick of Marshall. Marshall was in the Vancouver Canucks camp this year. A number of engineers had a chance to participate in some uh, prospect camps over the summer. There's a shot coming here, saved by Marshall. Either a blocker or a stick save. Richards trying to clear and does out to center ice. Only uh, Huskies are there, and they turn it right back around. RPI looking to get a change here. Maybe they won't now. Morello trying to deal with one of the Huskies jumping over the wall. Good back check uh, from Rapaci to intercept. Engineers have it again at their own line. Tipped along. Whiffin just off the bench. He's got fresh legs. Whiffin walking in. Save made by Broussard. And he ended up uh, bumping uh, eventually into the goaltender, but not after the shot was taken. 
And now a good play at center. Good hit. Puck comes free. Now a RPI fans want a trip. Not going to get it here. Whiff and back to center for Paulino. There's an engineer way offside. It was Morello who has to touch up. Engineers had to wait for him. Kicked at by Wilson. Wilson will stick in on the zone. Jared Wilson all the way in. A one-hand try. He was tripped up. And in score, but he does draw a penalty. The senior captain from Calgary, Jared Wilson, with a nice move. And I don't think anyone believed he was going to keep going, and he just kept uh, trucking on through the zone and ended up drawing a call. RPI will go on his third power play. Yeah, nice job by Jared Wilson there, asserting himself and just driving through the neutral zone, skating right into the net without stopping, not letting anyone get in his path. Well, the uh, Huskies have narrowed the shots on goal margin to just 21-19 RPI, but the RPI will have a chance to add to it here with their third power play chance. You have a look there at the man in the box, uh, Mark Trickert. Trickett, I should say. I keep adding an R in there. It's not there. Anyway, RPI power play number three. Wilson, one-timer and a save made uh, by Broussard. One of those saves where the puck just kind of plays you. There's a pass inside to flex wide. Liljegren looking for number two. Liljegren, he's tied up by a couple of players. Thought he was hooked. Threw his hands in the air after he got loose. And uh, officials say no. Play on, puck cleared. 5.39 on the clock. Period number two, two to one. St. Mary's centering pass, and they found uh, Burgess there, but he couldn't quite pull the trigger. Wilson for more. Burgess dangling down low. Orval back to Burgess. He's tied up. He's hooked. Penalty coming up. It's covered by Broussard. And again, the engineers finding themselves in dangerous uh, spots on the ice. That time, it took a hook to keep. Burgess from scoring, and he's upset about that fact. Although he needs to stay calm here, because if he does, RPI will have a two-man advantage. Two-man advantage for a whole minute and three seconds. Then, the way the power plays look so far, it would be tough to imagine them not scoring. As they bring out their second unit. Jaron Burke here, now included. Houston Fieldhouse are really getting amped up now with the two-man advantage coming for the engineers. Draw here. Across for Prapovesis. Now Prapovesis once more. Tyrannies. They play catch. They trade places. Tyrannies thought about a slapper. Off to Prapovesis. Back to Tyrannies. Far side one-timer. That one steered away. Hayhurst back to the point for Riley. 35 to go on the five on three. Tyranny slams it on goal. Shot was blocked. And a nice job to recover and pick up the loose puck. Tyranny is now at the goal line extended. Tiro shoots it off the back of the net to himself. Now Hayhurst, 19 to go on the five on three. Dangerous cross ice pass and nearly picked off, but the engineers keep it. Down low, Hayhurst shooting. That one stopped by Broussard, and he'll cover up as he leaps out of the crease and holds on. Ten seconds left of five on three action. And a lot of sevens in the penalty box now for uh, for St. Mary's. You have uh, Trick uh, Trickett, number seven, and then Michael Curtis, number 77. <laughs> you think with uh, all those sevens in the box, RPI would have better luck <laughs> on the power play, but not the case so far. Yeah, no luck so far, but again, good movement, and the engineers look like they're starting to get their feet under themselves. Good movement, good passing, especially from behind the net to out front and center. Tie up on the dot. Liljegren battling for it. Five seconds to go, five on three. Then we'll have another almost minute of five on four power play time. That's over. Here's more. More for Burgess. Nice job to just keep the puck there in traffic. And now Orval behind the net. That's Emil. He'll throw it off the back of the net. Regathers on the other side. Mears Moore back to Orval. Pressure comes there. Down low. One timer. Picked up Wilson. Shot off the face mask of Broussard. Wilson. He's tied up. And now picked up by Lilgren. One timer coming. Glove save by Broussard. Are you kidding me? He denied Burgess. On a cross ice. One timer. 
Both goalies are showing off here this evening. Gonna look at the play here. Oh. That shot came like a bullet out of a gun from Burgess. And Broussard threw the glove up uh, like he was trying to do that. I think the, I think his glove was in the right spot, but uh, <laughs> he was able to snare it. It was more of a celebratory uh, glove flip than anything else. Thank goodness I caught it, I think. It was more like it. Puck shot down by the Huskies. A great save nonetheless. You have to put your glove in the right spot. I shouldn't be uh, saying that about him. Right into the zone. Burgess wrists one high off the glass. Comes down behind the goal. Back to the point for Wilson. He'll take another shot that goes wide. Rebound picked up there. And the Esper overall couldn't grab it. And now finally the penalty's over. Engineers doing all but scoring there once again on the power play. They've been spectacular on two of their three power plays so far. Uh, both have been fruitless, unfortunately, if you're an RPI fan. Three minutes to go in the second. Two to one is the St. Mary's lead. Husky's 0 for 2 on the power play, so nothing doing special teams-wise. Except for some excitement. There's a slapper that goes wide from the circle. Gathered in by Samick, or make it more rather. Harris. Far side, Orval just tips it out to center. It's gathered in by Curtis, who's just out of the box. He'll dump it in there. Deadens off the door. Picked up by Marshall. He'll leave it aside. Nearly given away. Good play. Good read by uh, Reisinger to come back into the zone and help out defensively. Now Rapache in. Anthony Rapache all the way around. Turning. Feeding it across. Fed wide a goal. Hits off the back of the net. It'll be picked up there by Barisha. Shot off the glove, I believe, of Marshall, but was headed wide anyway. Lobbed all the way down by Polino. Will it have the legs for icing? I think it will, will not, and it won't. It'll be shot ahead. Riley will track down a loose puck in his own zone. Under two to go in the second. Reisinger couldn't corral. Rapache. His sister, Sabrina, and the engineers uh, are headed home after a Tough opening series against Ohio State. Uh, losing both of those games this weekend. Now Polino the other way. Rister coming. Save made by Broussard. No rebound. And he had Billy Jerry crashing. And now Jerry uh, gets a couple of words in with the Huskies that are crowded around their goal. And there we see the speed of Patrick Polino once again on display. That was his biggest asset last season. And it doesn't look like he's lost one step. Face-off coming up in the St. Mary's zone. Jaron Burke throws his shoulder into Cord. And it's Burke trying to come out of the pile with the puck. They go down. He and Cord do, and the puck is out to center. Riley chopping at it. Can't separate it from uh, the driving play of DePerna. Now a centering pass. Marshall makes a save. Where is it? Underneath a body. It'll be picked up by Burke, and he'll skate it to safety behind the cage. Jaron Burke up the wall. On further. Burke trying to play it to himself. He's all alone in the zone by himself. He tried to make a move there on Shipley. It was knocked away. To the point. Kept in by Harris. He'll shoot it in. Now Orval. Back to the point. Samick waiting. Flicks one on goal. I think Norval tried to throw his stick up to deflect that thing. Goes into the corner. Behind the goal. Played far side. Spin move there. By Johnson. And now Samick to center for Richards. Dumped in by Brooks. He scored the first goal this game. Puck loose along the wall. Everyone's standing here in hopes of some free merchandise, uh, free food, I guess you could say. Eight seconds to go in the second. Husky still on the attack. Richards backhands it along, and that'll do it for period number two. Both teams scoring here in the frame. Victor Lodgren for RPI. And the Engineers uh, down a goal, but they lead in shots 28-22. And uh, have looked good again on the power play. They're 0 for 4, I should say. I mentioned they're 0 for 3. There was a, a 5 on 3 in there. 0 for 4 in the power play, but uh, uh, a number of good scoring chances along those uh, four attempts. And 
Lyndon Marshall looked good there at the last nine minutes or so. For sure, Marshall, Marshall did not allow a goal playing the second half of that uh, second period, and I'm sure he'll uh, finish off the third for RPI. We'll step aside here and be back with that third period where your score is St. Mary's 2 and RPI 1. You're watching RPI Men's Hockey on RPI TV.
two RPI, Carol Scaris, Joe Pisacano here, RPI TV. RPI and St. Mary's Exhibition Hockey. Uh, final tune-up here, only tune-up for RPI before they begin regular season play in two weeks. They head to Ohio State to play against uh, Coach Dave Smith's alma mater, 1992 grad. As it's uh, picked up there by Moore, Morello pushing it on further. Taken back over by the Huskies and moved in by Rapache with Beaton. Both teams even strength as we begin the third. Shot far side by DePerna. Deflected wide of goal on the redirect in front. And now Morello lost his edge as he went down. Picked away by Rapache, trying to drive it out in front, and a great poke check by Wilson to thwart that scoring opportunity, or potential one at least, before it could get there. Moved in by Moore on the dump in. Both teams want to change. It'll be gathered in by DePerna. DePerna all the way into the RPI zone. DePerna coast to coast, and he put it wide. He slams hard into the end wall. Engineers looking to move the puck out of the zone, although they have to turn right back around. It's picked up now by Prapavesis. Mike Prapavesis, senior from Oakville, Ontario. Shot in by Burgess. Liljegren looking for it there. Already some early chemistry being shown between Burgess, Liljegren, and Reisinger. Is it shot in? Liljegren back to the point. Poked away from him, and now Prapavesis. Liljegren once more. Todd Burgess. On for Prapavesis. Did he keep it in? No. RPI will need to touch up, and they want to change anyway, at least the forward grouping. Someone will be able to. I beg your pardon, uh, Orval. Uh, Emil Orval on that line. And now we get a whistle. Hearing too many men is the call on RPI. And uh, you almost expect to see a too many men call in an exhibition game. At least... Uh, you expect to stop seeing them afterwards, but... Uh. Yeah, and uh, it's all exhibi exhibition games here so far, and uh, the lines definitely are not set in stone. They change every game, but you have to think that Coach Dave Smith likes what he sees from the line of Todd Burgess, Emil Orval, and Victor Liljegren. Burgess and Orval appear to have a ton of skill, and Liljegren definitely benefiting from that with his early goal in the second period. RPI clears it. Bench minor, too many men. Jesper Orval will serve. Uh, so down a goal. The engineers have a big penalty kill for all intents and purposes in this game. Third chance for the Huskies. They're 0 for 2. RPI 0 for 4 and they're forced to four opportunities, which includes a little over a minute of 5 on 3 time. But here just a 5 on 4 for St. Uh, Mary's. TJ Samick with a chance to clear, and he does, despite the best efforts of Peters. Puck loose at center, kicked at by Riley. He runs into Beaton, and it'll be picked up by Billy Jerry. As I mentioned, out of River Falls, Wisconsin, shoots it down. And I don't know if Will Riley went on a weight training program or something, or something but he looks bigger and he looks tougher this year coming into his sophomore year. I'm getting a lot more aggressive here on the penalty kill. Yeah, it's sometimes tough to see through all the pads, Joe, but uh, you might be right. <laughs> At least he's, he's looked more aggressive. You're right, definitely. Definitely that, more aggressive. In that case. But it's shot down the ice. Picked up there by Hardy. And he'll start the breakout from behind the St. Mary's goal. Calder Brooks into the RPI zone. RPI wants to break the other way. They might have had a two-on-one, but uh, Mears Moore took the safe route and just dumped it down. Or it's gathered in there. Backhanded along. Flipped right back down on the backhand by Matt Harris, the freshman from Sudbury, Mass. Former Boston Junior Bruin. From the USPHL. Down the middle of the ice, it's broken up by Harris. And offside the whistle. One second remains on the bench minor penalty to the engineers. The faceoff outside the zone, you can just... Uh, all but call that a kill. RPI three for three and not much doing really in any of the power plays other than I think the first one they had a, a chance that Chase Perry made a great save on. Other than that, nothing really doing for St. Mary's. 
Active sticks are the main cause of that. Face-off win for the Huskies, but that'll uh, kill off the rest of that penalty, the second that was left on it. Liljegren's wrapped up in front of his own bench by Zilbert. Now Prapavesis for RPI. On for Burgess. Todd Burgess connects to Liljegren, trying to step around his man. He was kind of undercut there and slowed him up. Here's Shipley. He'll hand it off. A little bit of speed into the zone. Shot was blocked away. Uh, looks like uh, that was, was it Curtis over there took that shot. Uh, yeah, Michael Curtis with the attempt, but it was deflected into the netting. There's a look at Victor Liljegren, alternate captain for RPI. Has the lone goal for the engineers here tonight. Face-off push behind Marshall. To center. Uh, Tyrannese lost it. And it's shot down. Should be icing here. Lyndon Marshall thinks so, and we get a whistle. So you have Marshall, whose setup is almost completely red, including his mask. Then you have Chase Perry, who has a very white setup. They're really easy to tell apart. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially from so far away. I agree. And he's looked good so far here tonight. The freshman goaltender out of Victoria, British Columbia. Face off here. It'll be Jerry to take it for the engineers. Looking to improve uh, on their face off numbers from a year ago. Engineers have been below that 50% mark for a few years now. Here's a little outlet pass and a one on one chance. Johnson in, pulls it back, takes a wrist shot, and Marshall makes the save and holds on. Good hustle play there by TJ Samick getting back to get his, get his body in front of the shot there. Of course, you didn't block it, but still good play nonetheless. That's what you like to see from your defense. Face off to the right of Marshall. Whack behind the goal. There's a tie up in the corner. Finally out uh, towards center ice. All the way down it goes, in fact. Picked up by Trickett. Right back down wide to Marshall. He'll cover up with some pressure coming, and we'll have a stoppage. 14.32 left in the third. RPI down 2-1. to one. No goal so far here in this final frame. One of the things I didn't really notice at the start of the game, but Jacob Hayhurst moved to the wing after playing most of last season down the center of the ice. And... Uh, he appears to be doing just fine with the change in position. Of course, a few less defensive responsibilities being a winger. Face off, one back. Hardy, shot deflects into the netting. We'll have another stoppage and another draw coming up. And I believe that I read that Jake Hayhurst was eighth in the ECAC in points scored last season, moving among, to the wing. Among rookies, right? Among rookies, yes, right, among right. rookies. So moving to the wing may improve that number. Yeah, he's uh, also one of the top uh, power play threats for RPI that will allow them to have that, such a strong power play, the 21.3% last year. Highest number it's been in years. Yeah, he had a real nice shot from the circle. Moving ahead for Paulino, avoids a hit, gets it deep. Burke trying to chase his man down, has to be careful where he puts his stick. As the Huskies move it the other way, and offside whistle goes. Announced attendance here in this one, Joe, 2,131. Pretty good for an exhibition game, I'd say. Not too bad at all, and you're right. I think fans are excited to see. Uh, what this new look group can do after a disappointing 2016-17 in which the engineers uh, went 8-28-1. Uh, and, and new look with the new uniforms for sure. Yeah, that, I, you, we haven't seen the whites yet, but I really like the whites as well. They have new whites and new reds, and they're not really mirror images of each other like you'll see with a lot of uniforms. They're, there's a completely, a completely different design, and now we get some pushing and shoving between Johnson Jesper Orval. and Jesper Orval. Getting into it a little bit. Shipley and Tyrannese to take the draw. One back by the Huskies. Flipped into the zone by Alex Cord. Matt Harris for RPI. He has looked sturdy so far from the blue line. The lone freshman defenseman. Uh, he's just been solid today. Lone freshman, but a good one. 
Right, exactly. Now Orval nearly found a loose puck. Uh, a gift wrap for him, but he couldn't corral it. Kind of bounced on him a bit. Shot to center. Shipley trying to make a move. Lost it. Picked up Prapovesis. On to center. Here comes John Richards all by himself. He'll stop at the point. Trying to feed it across for Tyrannese. He'll find it there. Trailing man is Prapovesis. A shot. Glove save made. And the rebound pops free. Orval in the corner. Cord. Shielding the puck away uh, from Richards. Who then goes down. Johnson will use the indirect off the end wall. Fed up the boards. Bouncing puck at center. Glove down by DePerna, who is listed as a defenseman, but he's been playing a little more advanced to the role than a normal defenseman would. And now Orval into the zone all by himself. RPI changing behind him. Picked away there by Brooks. He'll shoot it off the near side. Rapaci broken up nicely by the trailing stick of uh, Burgess. But it's given away. Beaten. A run into the corner boards by Burgess. Riley trying to dig it out of there for RPI. Flung to the far point. Waiting for it. Peters. Peters. Indirect to a wide of goal. He's looking to play it off the end boards, but it fell right to a teammate. Puck still loose over there. It'll be dug back by Rapaci. Peters lost it. Chance to break. Here comes Emil Orval. Two on one. Orval is shot and he looked for the top right corner and missed the net. Still another try here. Liljegren, one, two from Orval and Broussard again. Denying the engineers of a second goal. And now Orval, really kind of, I'm sure, frustrated from both opportunities he had, uh, kind of drifted into the St. Mary's net minder, and he'll need to be separated there. And Emil Orval, the younger brother of Jesper, has looked very good here tonight. He's got a lot of speed, similar to his, to his older brother. So, 12-12 uh, to go in the third period. Shots are 30-25 engineers. And you can see that save again by Broussard. He has been good this evening. Better than good. On a number of occasions. Hayhurst. Work loose. Huskies trying to clear. Centering pass broken up. Haven't uh, seen much or any of uh, Jake uh, Cogler, who scored the second goal for St. Mary's. Not sure if he got uh, nicked up at all or what, but he had, hadn't been out there. Hope he's okay. Shot to flex wide. I, I take your, a bigger part, and there he is. I just hadn't said his name in a while. He's digging for the puck now. Asking you sell receive, I guess. Cogler down low. Puck goes to where he was. And now Jerry, nice job to pinch at the far point uh, by Hardy. And now Jerry is upended. Fans don't like it. Driving to that with a potential two-on-one, but a good defensive stick from Moore breaks it up. Here's Conkler again. He gets run into the wall. Jerry trying to clear near side. Hayhurst flipped it around his man, but couldn't get his, himself there. Turned right back around by the Huskies. 11 minutes to go in the third. Still a one-goal game. And the way Broussard is playing, the engineers are need to come up with a, a dandy here to beat him. Whiffin, that pass too far for him. It's going to be icing. Just a tough angle on that pass. And uh, I think that might be the first icing we've had here tonight. The, engine, the referees have been sort of lenient with them. Well, I haven't seen one in a while. I don't want to be argumentative, but I I do remember at least one jump. <laughs> <laughs> we have, they, they've definitely been lenient with them. There have been a couple of opportunities where I thought it would have been an icing and they uh, decided to wave it off. There's definitely been an icing, but uh, that's okay. Uh, 10.43 left. Mears Moore. Morello. Looking to cycle. Actually, a shot came from the wall there. A tight angle shot from Shipley. And now he'll glove it down at center. Make that to Perna, rather. Given away. Centering pass from Morello. And didn't quite get to its intended target. Now into the zone. Way offside are the Huskies as Stavert carried in. Good job by the engineer defense to jam them up at the blue line. Cause that offsides. Face-offs right now. 30 to 18 St. Mary's. RPI has blocked eight shots. The Huskies have blocked seven. Shots are 30 to 26 engineers, so they still lead in that department. Thanks to Broussard, however, they have not been able to find an equalizing goal. 
Peters shooting it in on goal. Marshall will cover up. And we'll have another whistle. Running down the uh, scoring very quickly. 844 in the first period. Calder Brooks from Alexander Peters. And then RPI tied up 11 seconds into the second. Victor Lodegren from Riley. And then regaining the lead at 325 of the second period. Jake Cogler from Adam Bateman. That's been it so far. All even strength goals. RPI 0 for 4 on the power play. Uh, and the Huskies are 0 for 3. Here's uh, Harris, a shot in a glove saved by Broussard. One of the simpler saves for him today, and he'll hold on to it there. Engineers continuing to put pressure on Broussard, but he's up to the task every single time. Less than 10 minutes to go here in the game, and the engineers still looking for that game tying goal. I said 0 for 5. RPI is 0 for 4 in the power play. St. Uh, Mary's is 0 for 3. Samick, a shot hit a leg on the way through. Popped in the air. Glove down by Curtis. He'll try the near side. This is Hardy. Pops right back. They feed it uh, up the boards. Bateman into the RPI zone. Samick gives it away to Johnson, looking to center it. Bounces out in front. It'll be gathered in there. Curtis down low for Johnson. Really? Got uh, whacked on the hand there. Lost the puck for a moment. Gets it back and flips it off the dasher down low. Here's Curtis again. Michael Curtis looking to cycle. Flipped up the boards. Lilzergren trying to poke it free. Kept in by Bateman. Samick now. Engineers just uh, trying to work their way out of the zone. Having a little bit of trouble doing so. Riley. Samick up the boards. Gave it away. It was a good play by Rapache to steal it. Shot from a almost no angle. Fired wide. Kept in. Too far for Rapache. Johnson. Gives it to Rapache. Centering pass. Intercepted by Samick. He'll go right back behind the net with it. He gets upended there, but not enough for a, a trip, say the officials, as we play on. Good offensive zone time here for St. Mary's. Finally, Burgess, as RPI was able to get a change. Uh, Rapache, loose puck. Shot was blocked. And a good play by Samick on his stomach to break up the play. Now Lilgren back the other way. Two on two with Orval. All the way through, everybody. Orval picks it up on the other side before taking a hit from Rapache. Back comes St. Mary's. Eight minutes to go in the third. A two-to-one lead for the visitors from Nova Scotia. Liljegren has a couple of men breaking on the far side, but he's cut off, forcing more backwards. More to center. And now... Uh, engineers... Uh, Although it's just an exhibition, probably want to take some more chances and maybe try to tie this game up. Jaron Burke back to pick up a loose puck. Plays it back for more. It's all situational hockey. You have to work on these type of situations. Down a goal. Here comes Jaron Burke. Into the zone, driving the net. Burke all the way around, looking to center. It's broken up. Hayhurst trying to whack it free from Peters. And now Trickett. Center ice connection. Coughlin dumps it in. Whiffin leaning on his man. Harris to center ice. Hayhurst turns on the afterburners. Jacob Hayhurst pulls up at the line. And it's whacked back to center. Chance for a two-on-one, although getting back into the play was Prapavessis. That'll slow things up. Losing an edge in the corner. It was Mullally who tried to make a move there and faked himself out of his own uh, shoes there. Centering pass right out in front. Good breakup by Marshall. Nice job using the stick to poke that pass away. Back come the engineers. Hayhurst. Gets it in deep. Played by Broussard up the wall with the Huskies changing. Wrap up, poke check by Reisinger. Gets it back. Trying to kick at it. Up the wall. Continues to fight and eventually does get it into the zone. Here's Shipley. Indirect off the end boards for Hardy. Austin Hardy takes a hit. Puck flung to center. Dumped in by St. Mary's and RPI will pick it up there. Samick leaves it off for Whiffin. Whiffing up the boards for Paulino. Through center ice. Reisinger trying to get there. He's beaten to the puck by Cord. Cord across forward to Perna. St. Mary's in. Broken up by Tyrannies. And now Riley. 
Under six to go third period RPI still down a goal so looking for the first of this period for either team. Saucer pass Tierney is looking to try to find uh, Polino with the home run ball that didn't work. Shot right back in RPI will have to start over. Tierney. Turns back pressure from Rapache. Uses the net to escape. Ahead for Richards. And the referee, linesman over there, got right in Richards' way. Fans don't like it. Also forced the engineers offside on top of that. Uh, but uh, officials are part of the play. Got to deal with that. Back comes Orval. Has a man with him as Richard through everybody, including Tyranny, who was standing right next to him. And now we're Apache back the other way. He'll slow things down for St. Mary's as we had come up on five minutes to go. Shot down. Did he touch it is the question. Uh, no is the answer. Icing on the Huskies here. There's another icing. <laughs> you got the clicker out? Are you keeping track now? <laughs> <laughs> here comes that skilled line once again. Burgess, Lil Jagrin, and Orval. Getting down to the uh, wire here. Under five minutes left in the third period in a one goal game. Stretch pass broken up by Harris. Tipped into the zone. Burgess gloves it to himself. Fed off a skate and they'll say he held on to that puck too long. Face off outside the zone. Nice job by Matt Harris intercepting that pass in the neutral zone. Getting right in the middle of the passing lane and getting it right back into the offensive zone for the engineers. All while keeping the engineers on sides. Face off here. Picked up by Prapavesis, and now Burgess will shoot it in. Flung around Orval, and now Hardy for the Huskies. Bateman. Good connection to center. Lobbed in there by Curtis, trying to find his way around Prapavesis. Puck to the near corner, intercepted by Liljegren. Has a man breaking, it's Orval. Emil Orval all by himself, teammates trailing. Trying to jam it out of the zone, and they do. Shipley, RPI back to pick it up. Will Riley, he'll turn things up ice. Riley on the move. Lost it at the half wall. Worked in deep by RPI. Burke into the corner, lost it. Bouncing puck at center, uh, controlled by Samick. Shot in by the engineers, Riley. Burke throwing his body around in the corner. Classmate with him was Jerry. But the puck's back to center. Race for it, picked up there by Brooks. Brooks driving in and the shot went wide. Now a shot on goal. Marshall made the save. Rebound was loose for a second. But he gets the fortuitous bounce right back to him. And he'll hold on that time. 3.15 on the clock. It's still 2-1 to one St. Mary's. Yeah, Lyndon Marshall once again doing a nice job to keep the rebounds out of the net. Second chance opportunities. Face off here to the left of Marshall. He stopped everything that's come at him today. Engineers break to center. A little bit of speed. It's Paulino stopping there. He's tied up. Gets some help from Whiffin. And now it's moved to center now. Two on two into the zone. Marshall a save. Rebound put wide. Engineers converging there on Beaton. Not allowing him to take the shot. And now here comes Morello all by himself. Looking to cycle into the corner. Whiffen takes a look around before picking it up. He takes a big hit there from Peters. Wrapped around to the near side. All the way back to his own zone. It's Mears Moore. Moore for Prapavesis. Towards Moore, but he has to go track it down. He'll just chop it up the wall. Trick it. 2.23 left. Shot down the ice. It was deflected off of Prapavesis. So no icing here. Prapavesis on it now. 
Up ahead. Drop past Tyrannese. Flips it in. Hayhurst. Throws a hit into Bateman. They go down. Working it up the wall. And Reisinger down low. Touch pass in front. Prabhavess is far side. It caroms off O'Reilly who throws it off the back of the net. Jam tries. Save Broussard. No rebound. As uh, engineers nearly came up with something out of nothing there. Uh, but uh, saved by Broussard in the end on a tight angle try. Once again saved by Broussard. But good passing from the engineers going in through the neutral zone with a lot of speed. Lyndon Marshall, 15 out of 15 on saves uh, after taking over. Well, about 11 minutes left. Nine minutes left, I should say, in the second period. Uh, for Broussard, he has stopped 31 of 32 tonight. And I believe we're going to have a timeout taken by the engineers here with 153 left. It'll be interesting to see if the engineers end up pulling Marshall for the extra skater. Maybe try and give that, give that opportunity with two minutes left. Offensive zone face off coming up. Now 153 to go. And you Looks like Dave Smith's drawing up a play. Talking about situational play here, down a goal, power play, special teams. Those are the kind of things you work on if you take a look at the uh, St. Mary's bench. That's the head coach, Trevor Steinberg. There he is, 21st season. Look at that, Dark Guy TV. Dropping some knowledge on everyone. Great crowd at the field house, 21, over 2,100 for this exhibition game. Shots 32 to 29 RPI, but they have not been able to solve Broussard a second time. Faceoffs 34-20 in favor of uh, St. Mary's. You see RPI 0 for 4 in the power play, at least I can see. Huskies are 0 for 3. Engineers with 12 power play shots on those four chances. That's really the stat that sticks out in my mind, to Joe, when you look at how this game has gone. Engineers have 12 power play shots and no power play goals. And the Huskies only have one power play shot on their own. Opportunity. Right, so that, that tells you how the special teams have gone. Uh, but uh, Broussard's 31 saves will tell you how things have ended up. And that's the result of those power plays. The 12 shots, uh, none of them have gotten by him. 32 in all. Empty net here for RPI with the minute 40 to go. So they pull the netminder. Marshall trying to get the tying goal here. So tie up in the corner. Hayhurst with the Orval and now picked up and backhanded out of the zone. Where's this one going to end up? It's going to be icing. Or, or will it? Yes, sir. 125 left and uh, really not the, the smartest move there for the Huskies. You just wing it down the ice, especially the, the blind uh, backhand aerial variety. Not even going to take a crack at I think he was trying to lay it up softly, so it wasn't going to be icing, but it Go had to a, little the bit, neutral zone. a little bit too much mustard on it, yeah. Uh, engineers have two of their top offensive defensemen out there with uh, Wilson and Riley, two of the most dangerous oh, yeah. slap shots in the ECAC. One of the situations you work on, six on five, and so RPI will get that opportunity here. Wilson wrists one off of a mask and it deflects to the near corner. Hayhurst tops away from him. Flip down the ice. I don't think this is going to have the legs. Wilson's not going to allow it to. And he goes back to pick it up. Wilson stick handling through center. Still Wilson. Off for Hayhurst. Cross ice feed through everybody. Picked up by Whiffen. Centering pass. Lilgren's tied up. Thrown on goal. Rebound saved by Broussard and he covers. Engineers had a couple of players there on the doorstep trying to bury it. And once again Broussard said no. Engineers snake bitten once again. But Emil Orval doing a nice job providing offense from the corner. Getting spraying it in some center ice pass, bringing passes right to the center of the ice and into the high danger areas of the ice. Tier needs to take this draw. One back by the Huskies. Wrap it around to the point. Prapaves is waiting. 50 seconds to go. Centering pass. Awful. The skate of uh, Burgess. The Burgess there. Or would have got Freedom Moore. Still Burgess digging. Whack to the corner. Lifted stick by Burgess. Polino's digging away in there. Three, four engineers in the corner. 30 seconds left. Back to the far point. Some room for Prapavesis. He'll fake a shot. 
down low, redirection. Rebound put high and wide into the netting by Polino. I think it might have ramped up the stick of the defender, Hardy. Face off uh, a couple years ago, they changed that rule, uh, Joe. It doesn't matter who the, the shot eventually comes off of. If it's, if it's a shot attempt in the offensive zone, it goes out of play. It's automatically uh, a face off in the uh, offensive zone for the shooting team. It, it really takes away any of the doubt. I really like the rule. It takes away any doubt of who the puck deflected off of or didn't deflect off of. You can shoot the puck straight out of play as long as you're taking a shot in the eyes of the official. Uh, it's going to be an that's offensive a, zone draw. It's a good rule. Bouncing puck in the middle. Picked up by Liljegren, walking right in, and it deflects just wide. 13 to go. Will Riley centering. Comes through. Arbola drive. Rebound turning and shooting, and they're laying down in front of the net. Still lose another save on Liljegren. Arbola put it up high. Bouncing puck with one. Wilson throws it on goal, and it's blocked, and the game is over. Eric Broussard standing on his head almost literally there in the last couple seconds of the game. Engineers throwing everything they had at him. What a finish there. I don't know if uh, Broussard or some of his teammates are going to get credit for saves there. I'm joking, of course. Uh, but they got in the way of some shots. Engineers uh, did all they could to try and tie this one up. But credit Broussard and this uh, defensive fivesome out there for uh, St. Mary's University in preserving the 2 to 1 win. It was an exciting one for the folks that showed up for the field house, and of course, for all of you uh, back home or uh, wherever you were taking this one in. RPI TV always happy to provide coverage of RPI men's and women's hockey here and uh, and uh, Joe it was an exciting exhibition game engineers end up losing you don't like losing of course but uh, at the same time you have to be happy with how this team uh, really how they performed you get the 36 shots you can't be too disappointed with that you may be disappointed with the one goal but uh, puck luck uh, not really on the engineers side uh, in this one uh, power play looked Pretty, pretty solid, uh, especially for a first game. 12 power play shots on the four opportunities, no goals. Power play looked solid, and the engineers team in, as a whole looked solid, especially what I liked from the, young, from the younger guys. Matt Harris, especially on the defense, was good in the offensive zone, and in, on defense he was using his stick uh, like a windshield wiper at times. It looked like the defense, the forwards of the Huskies just were getting frustrated by how quickly he was clearing the zone from them. And uh, Will Riley, again, uh, just drafted last year after a good freshman campaign taken by the Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins, came out, had a nice uh, preseason debut, I guess you would call it, and looked a lot more aggressive than he, than he has in games past on the defensive side. Offense, he's always been very aggressive, taking tons of shots at the net, but on defense specifically, he looked at, he was digging in the corners and really looked like He's ready for a good season to come ahead. Absolutely, and uh, so for RPI, uh, they have a, a week, two weeks off, I guess, uh, full weeks of practice before they head to the road to take on Ohio State. But it was a good tune-up game here for RPI here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Uh, any final thoughts, Joe, before we get out of here? Uh, I think it's just good to see the players on the ice. I talk, got to talk to a couple of them the past week, and they were just excited to get back on the ice at home and uh, play a game because they've been here since about August 8th and, and uh, haven't really gotten to play any competitive games. They've been doing a lot of scrimmaging, a lot of practice, they said, but it's nice to see an opponent on the ice. Well, with that, we will uh, send it out of here for uh, Joe Pizzicano and Perry Lascaris. We thank you for watching today's game. Once again, your final score, St. Mary's 2, RPI 1. You've been watching live coverage of RPI Hockey on uh, RPI TV.